Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe Rodriguez from El Tree Online. Um, and I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share um, something that was a little frustrating to me. And obviously for those of you who are in the YouTube, um, you know, streaming, Facebook live streaming, podcast, etc. world, uh, you guys are well aware that uh, there's a lot of challenges that you're probably going to face. And... Um, as I'm making this video, this tutorial, I'm also streaming live right now on um, on YouTube, and um, I wanted to just share what I ended up doing uh, with OBS. So right now, as I mentioned, I'm I'm on um, I'm using uh, the A10 Television Studio HD switcher, which I have connected to a Panasonic uh, camera uh, via HDMI. And then I'm going to switch it up here. And as you see that, that is an A7 III Sony that I also have connected via HDMI into the switcher. And for audio right now, I'm talking on the uh, Rode, the Procaster. Um, I have that connected into my laptop and obviously these, uh, these microphones as well, which are Rodes. Uh, so... It was really difficult for me to get this setup up and running because just connecting the switcher alone was a nightmare. It was a cluster uh, and I was just using all kinds of different things. First I tried just the regular HDMI, then I tried USB, and then I tried all kinds of different connecting connectors and it was a nightmare. Um, again, just the switcher alone, you have to like set it up with the ethernet cable, uh, make sure that the uh, IP address is uh, correctly uh, embedded and um, and yeah it was uh, it was a pain in the ass uh, and then um, so you need to have additional tools right uh, I tried using this mini recorder uh, right here so this is what I ended up trying to use however if you go if you take a look behind you can see that that's an old U uh, Thunderbolt 2 connector and Thunderbolt was a uh, an Apple thing that it was like a very Apple proprietary uh, connection so not a lot of stuff was made for pcs and then also let me just tell everybody that uh this is actually this this whole setup is for pc based there's a lot of mac people out there and there's a lot of help for macs but when it comes to pc it's just there's just not a lot of information out there for individuals who want to get this setup uh, up and running so again atem television studio connected through ethernet and that's why i get the software control and then i have the ultra studio hd that is connected through the uh, Atom Television Studio HD via uh, BNC, so uh, you know the SDI cables, BNC cable SDI connectors, and then the key was getting the Thunderbolt uh, three connected from the Ultra Studio HD Mini into the um, into the computer into the laptop, and as you can see right here, this is where it pops up. So you would just need to add a device and then black magic and then you select that because it pops up. It see as you can see it's connected through SDI, right? And that that's basically how it works. Uh, I was gonna return to Ultra Studio HD Mini, but I didn't uh, actually tomorrow because uh, as I was like browsing through YouTube, uh, these cats right here reminded me that there's a connection. So again, this is just a regular uh, U, uh, Thunderbolt 3 connector that has the same USB-C uh, input. So, uh, you know, it's important to, to point that out, that, um, that uh, these Ultra Studio HD Mini do use the USB-C type connectors. Um, I don't, there's a lot of lingo that I really don't know, but I'm just kind of like explain, explain to you guys as I go. Um, and if we go right now to uh, my page, well, wrong keyboard. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. I'm going to take a look at the um, on YouTube on my phone because the other thing that's really important is making sure that uh, we're not getting any lip flap. And again, I'm using the Rode uh, uh, Caster Pro. So that's that's what I'm using. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, you know what? 
And here it is. I'm going to take a look at the... Uh... And there's no lip flap. And uh, this Panasonic camera is about to die right now. So. I think that's really important is making oh. sure that uh, we're not getting any lip flap. And again, I'm using the Rode there you um, go. Castro Pro. So that's yep. what I'm using. Okay. So it's connected well. So the other quick test I wanted to make, and I want to do this really quick before everything just goes down, is that I also have a wireless microphone set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to turn this sucker on. I'm still talking through this uh, regular microphone, but I'm going to turn it on. And this, just so you guys know, it's a Sennheiser, uh, the EW100. These puppies are kind of expensive. So um, anyway, so I'm going to lower this down. See, now you can't hear me. You can't hear me. And there it is. So this is the wireless microphone. You can hear like a little hum. I, I don't like it. I don't know why. Maybe I got to just uh, set things up a little different uh, with the frequencies. But now I'm talking using this wireless microphone, which is great because if you're out on the road, you can, you know, have like a reporter or somebody and you can have them like, you know, go and talk to people using this. This is connected straight to the Rode uh, Caster Pro. So, you know, it's really cool. It's really cool. I really like this, uh, you know, again, because it's uh, another thing that I just wanted to add. I had done a little video earlier, but I wanted to add this to incorporate this in, in the test that um, that ended up working. So I'm going to turn this thing off. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to turn off the microphone. So, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome because, like I said, now the, the, the setup just, it, it took me a couple of days to just figure it out and get it right. I'm not the most technically savvy person, but I'm also not the dumbest. Um, I want to show you also just uh, here really quick. Just so you guys can see the, um, the ATEM software control. There it is. So I have like a little tool monitor set up. See that? There's the laptop and there's the other monitor. Uh, and, and this is the one the thing that uh, the software control that's being uh, controlled by the um, uh, what do you call it the Ethernet cable so um, I was trying to get this thing to work directly and it kind of sucked uh, because what I needed was to, to make sure that uh, OBS was actually seeing that you know what I mean uh, but when you just connect the uh, Atom uh, switch her straight to uh, either either via HDMI or USB it doesn't detect that automatically so yeah that kind of sucked um, the other camera died by the way so there it is um, so yeah that's uh, that's basically the gist of this thing you know um, it was um, it was really tough there was a lot of lessons that uh, that I ended up learning uh, and and I think that uh, you know it's just something really cool for those of you guys out there trying to break into um, you know live streaming because one thing is to stream with one camera right uh, we were able to do that even in our podcast we were able to do a single camera there was no um, no issues with that but another is to actually get a switcher to switch your cameras around and obviously like you know like I said the other camera is dead. Um, but like if I want to throw bars right there, you know, uh, and not just bars, but obviously like, you know, a bunch of other stuff, uh, you know, like uh, lower thirds, a switcher allows you to do that. And obviously, like if you have like, you know, designer skills or if you have a friend that does, uh, you know, things like that, then you can certainly you can certainly, uh, you know, use that to your advantage because you can design your own stuff and you can apply them into the switcher. It's a hard, hardware switcher. And, um, but with the software, um, you know, or, or you can actually punch it, uh, physically as well, but the software allows you to, um, to, um, just mess with it a little better. Um, so yeah, so, okay. Just to recap again, it's the ATEM television studio HD plugged in through a uh, ultra studio HD mini 
via SDI, and that's plugged into my laptop using Thunderbolt 3. And for the cables, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro um, and uh, the microphones, you know. And right now, I'm just doing the, the microphones. Um, the Rodecaster is actually plugged into the computer as well. So I think that pretty much does it. That's, uh, that's kind of how I, I figured it out. And again, I was uh, literally losing my mind because I just couldn't get it to work. There was a, I don't know if I did, said this already or not, but there was a dude that that um, was able to connect the multiview from the ATAM, um, AT, ATAM, I don't even know how you say it, ATAM, let's call it ATAM, the multiview from the ATAM, and he got it to display into his, um, into his, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, into his desktop, you know, uh, and I tried doing that, but there was no way around it. And even after the fact, right, once, yeah, once you get that up and running, then does it, is it, is it a guarantee that, that you can actually see it on OBS, which is probably the most important thing for those of you guys who are using OBS or any other software, uh, to stream your, your video. So yeah, that's, uh, so that's pretty much it. You know, again, after frustration, uh, a frustrating couple of uh, days I finally got it to work and uh, I'm really happy so um, I hope that uh, this answers some questions if not go ahead and uh, you know just drop a line and normally we do a three online podcast here but again I know that some of you guys probably watch this because you guys like just uh, podcasting in general and hopefully this particular video helped you uh, with some information if you're planning to go this route okay uh, I'll probably end up doing more technical videos so that way you guys can get a better sense uh, of what, um, of like how we do this here at 3Online. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in.